everyone and welcome to How To 360, where we show you how to make awesome 360 videos. Brought to you by MetaVR.com, the home of 360 video. Okay, so today I'm going to be showing you how to get your videos off your Riga Theater S, export them and stitch them on a Mac. Okay, step one, get your Riga Theater, attach a mini USB cable to the bottom, just there, and plug it into your computer. Okay, after plugging in your Riga Theater, iPhoto will automatically open and ask if you want to import your videos here. Do it. Don't try anything fancy. Select what you want. Click to import. This is important. After you've finished importing, it will ask if you want to delete the videos you've imported. Click yes. This will delete the original footage off of your Rika Theta S and annoyingly is the only way to delete your footage on your camera and clear up for more space the next time. There's just a little slight different on the new Photos app for Mac where you have to click um, delete items after import before you actually import the files there. So make sure to do that if you're using the new version. Okay, you're doing well. You have your video footage uh, in iPhoto, but when you view it, you'll notice that you see, still see the separate footage from the two fisheye lenses. Don't worry, this is perfectly normal. This is just how the Riga Theta S captures the raw footage that when you look at your photographs, they've already been stitched. And that because the, that's because the Rico Theta already does all the work you have to do. So those photographs are ready to share. To stitch your video footage together, you're going to need to use the Rico Theta app, which you can download online. I put the link in the description. So go ahead and open up the Rico Theta app. It will tell you to drag and drop the spherical image, but what it's really telling you to do is to drag and drop your unstitched video footage. Very unhelpful, I know. Okay, so to find your footage, search iPhoto in your finder and find your iPhoto library. Right click and click on show package contents. Once you're there, I want you to click on masters, which contains all the original footage you've imported into iPhoto. Once you're there, click the relevant year, find the relevant month, find the relevant day, and voila, there is your wonderful unstitched video footage ready for you to drag and drop into the Rico Theta app. It will also ask you to define an output directory, which basically means the file where you want your final stitched Rico Theta videos to go. So go ahead and pick a file. Click done and your videos will be automatically stitched by the Rico Theta app. Voila, finally. Okay, now we're gonna to wanna to preview to see what your videos look like when they're stitched. So drag and drop them into the Rico Theta app, which doubles as a viewer. And you can scroll around clicking and dragging to look all around your videos and they'll look pretty awesome. Just a little note, if you try and open your videos normally from the finder, using something like QuickTime or a normal video player, it will show your video flattened out, stitched like this, but it won't allow you to look at the video in a spherical viewer. Now sharing and uploading 360 videos can be a pain, but thankfully on Meta, that's metavr.com, it's super easy. Just click upload, then drag and drop your stitch files right there, right onto the uploader, and you'll automatically see a preview um, right there of what your video looks like in full 360. It's a viewer where you can immediately swipe around to check you've got the right video, to check how it looks the meta player, to check everything is working with super speedy upload. Okay, so exporting and stitching your 360 videos still isn't as easy as I would really like it to be. But hopefully this video has given you a foolproof way of getting your content off your Rico Theta, stitching it on your Mac and getting ready to upload and share on metavr.com. Thanks so much for watching How To 360. I'll see you next time.